Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a nice, quick, simple honeycomb recipe. Honeycomb is great as an accompaniment sprinkled on desserts and also makes for a nice little sweet toffee treat. This recipe requires only three ingredients, the ingredients being caster sugar, golden syrup and sodium bicarbonate. Before starting it's vital to have everything ready as the end process is very quick so begin by placing the sugar and syrup into a deep bottomed pan and then lightly grease a tray ready to pour the honeycomb into as soon as it's made as you will find it sets very quickly. I've also greased some miniature loaf tins to make a mould should you wish to make some of those rather well known chocolate honeycomb snacks. The correct temperature is critical for sugar work in order to get it to set properly. For this recipe I'll be using my laser thermometer. They are available relatively inexpensive but should you not have one a good old fashioned brass sugar thermometer works just as well. Place the grease trays as close to the stove as possible and then place the sugar and syrup mix on to a medium heat. After a few minutes the sugar and syrup will begin to dissolve. At this point reduce the heat down to a low setting and then proceed to start recording temperatures until the desired temperature is achieved. Should there be any sugar that has not dissolved you can give the pan a gentle shake but do not use a wooden spoon as any moisture in the wooden spoon could cause the sugar in the syrup to crystallize. The temperature you need to achieve is soft crack which the temperatures are up on the screen now. We will be taking the temperature to the higher end of the soft crack and as soon as the temperature is achieved turn the heat off immediately and stir in the bicarb being aware that as soon as the bicarb is added the mixture will increase in volume considerably. Once the sodium bicarbonate is fully mixed through the entire mix immediately transfer to your grease tray to cool down or as in this case if you wish to make something with a shape pour a little bit into the miniature loaf tins being aware you need to move quickly as you will see towards the end of this already the mixture has begun to set. Once the honeycomb has completely cooled, which usually takes one to two hours to cool fully, begin to break up the larger pieces and store in an airtight container. And with the ones in the miniature loaf tins, break them free from the tins and then they are ready to be coated in chocolate should you wish. Shelf life in an airtight container is usually around three days. It may be longer, but a big factor in this will be the humidity of where it's kept. Obviously, the less humidity, the better although it can be frozen, although depending on the usage it can keep for longer should you wish to just crumble up to sprinkle on top of desserts. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoy making your own honeycomb. 
If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like and comment and don't forget to share the video. And if you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe.